Good morning guys, it's Lamira Lene back with another little video. If you are new, welcome. If you are not, welcome back and thank you for sticking with me. In today's video, I'm going to be waking up at 6 a.m. on the weekend. Before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. But we're about to get straight into it. Come on. Okay, yo, I just got done brushing my teeth and washing my face and stuff. I didn't film that because I was filming putting aloe vera on my face and my camera was really making me upset because it kept falling. So I was just like, forget it. Y'all see me do my morning routine enough anyway. So, but yeah, I'm at the. I'm finna cook breakfast. I'm finna show y'all what I got. So, I'm gonna make me some coffee. I got, if y'all don't know, if y'all are curious on what coffee that I like drinking, I drink the vanilla 
And the two I had was the caramel and the vanilla. And I got, you know, my caramel, my milk. And sometimes I put sugar in it to make it a little more sweet. But I'm going to have pancakes, eggs, sausages, and bacon. I couldn't decide. So I'm okay. I'm going to just do both. But that's all I'm going to have for breakfast today. So we're going to get started. I'm going to put the, um, the sausages and the bacon on first. That takes longest. Let me preheat the oven a little bit. Upstairs and eat my breakfast and watch um, TV. Then I'm coming down here and straighten up the kitchen because if you mess up in the kitchen and don't clean up after yourself, you're dirty. <laughs> that was kind of me. I'm sorry, y'all. That was kind of me. But no, for real, clean up after yourself. 
but yeah, I'm gonna see y'all once I get upstairs because I'm gonna watch. I'm um, watching a new series of um, what's it called? Manifest. I finished the Watcher in my last video, as y'all. And well, if you didn't watch that, go watch that video. But if you watch that, I finished. If you watch the last video, I finished Manifest. But alright, I gotta carry this stuff upstairs, so I'm gonna see y'all once I get up. Do y'all like my little setup though? I had to get two plates because sometimes I don't like all my food touching or I don't like the syrup on everything. But I got my coffee, my water, the syrup, my food. And then I got my iPad set up right here watching Manifest. Y'all, this scarf keep getting in my way. Like, it's all in my face. Like, dang. Let me move this. I'm trying to wait. I'm going to cut my food now. Y'all need to get one of those trays. covers and you land on my pillows mister Crusty, that's why I got this. I forgot about it that fast. Y'all, yesterday's upload, it was kind of rushed. Like, I like it, but it, for one, it's short. For two, it's just like, I don't know. Like, I didn't get no good thumbnail pictures either, so I don't really like it. And it's like, when I know I could do way better than what I be doing, it just irritates me. It's like, girl, what are you doing? Get your stuff together. What, what, how that, um, what's that TikTok up? Uh, 
tweak in before I tweak out or something like that. <laughs> okay, y'all feeling the look? Oh, by the way, I have on shorts. My shirt just oversized, so yeah. But I'm about to see what's something I can draw. Y'all want to listen to music too, so after I'm done talking to y'all, I'm going to play some music. Oh, that's pretty. Uh, okay, I'm getting distracted. Pinterest be having so much good stuff. Okay, y'all, I'm going to talk to y'all as I'm trying to find something. But I've been finding stuff to like, what's the word, like, I don't know how to explain. Wait, let me think before I say I don't know how to. Yo, I cannot multitask. Hold on one second. All this stuff to help me cope. I hope I'm saying that right. Like, I like to do word searches. I like to draw, but I don't know how to draw. Like, that's what be getting me. Like, how you like to draw, but don't know how to draw. Maybe I'm, like, starting to learn or something. But I be wanting to draw, and it's just like, I don't know how. But when I be doing word searches and journaling, like, it just, you know, like, I don't know the word for it, but I, um, and then sometimes coloring helps too because when I be at school, we was doing this, um, we've been doing projects a lot lately, so I've been coloring a lot, and I actually like coloring, like, I figured it out, like, I figured that I like coloring. I cannot find nothing to draw, y'all. I know I got some pictures saved somewhere. Um, oh my goodness, y'all, let's talk about me being shy and having social anxiety and stuff so as y'all know from my previous videos if y'all been watching me i mean yeah if y'all been watching me i'm taking a dance class so i can get my uh, my credits and we be performing in front of each other i like would be performing in front of the class but it'd be like in two groups but when i first started i was real nervous because I don't like all the attention being on me, like, you know. But now that, like, we more into it, like, I'm getting used to it. And we had a freaking assignment where we had to come up with um, an exercise plan and stand in front of the class by ourselves and stretch the class out. And I did it. I was I was scared, but I was, like, still, like, you know, keep myself calm, like, girl, you're okay. Then I had to come up with an English class. I had to come up with a poem and read it in front of the whole class. And do y'all know, let's talk about this. Do y'all know I volunteered to go first? Like, but it's only because I really wanted to get it over with. I'm not gonna lie, it's only because I wanted to get it over with. But that was good. Like to me, that was really good because usually I'd be scared. Like, you know, I'll wait, let somebody else go first. Then I go, but I went first, y'all. Like. Look at me. I love to see the progress and the growth. Like, I love to see it. Y'all, I still can't find a picture. But, yeah, y'all. I'm going to do a little event session when I'm done. Oh, I like that, though. Y'all, I'm about to draw. Y'all, I came up with a picture. I was going to draw something that had a meaning behind it, but I couldn't really find a good one that I wanted to do. Like, I was going for one that's have, like, pain has a purpose or, like, stuff like that in that category or, like, you know, like, I don't know the word. I don't... Okay, never mind. But I'm going to draw, wait, I don't know if y'all can see. Hopefully y'all can see. I'm going to be drawing a Spongebob. If y'all can't see, I will show y'all. I would. I'm thinking about if I want to trace this or do I just want to try to draw it on my own. But I think I'm going to try to draw it on my own. But I'm not going to talk too much. Oh, because I've been talking for too long. Or well, I feel like I've been talking too long. Okay, I'm not going to
Shorty off a fan star Just the one of it Eclipse <laughs> My drawing, not all that, but it's decent. Like, it's decent. I'm getting it. But y'all just seen her drawing, listening to music, chilling. I'm going to show y'all the picture, and then I'm going to show y'all. Um, I'm going to compare them together. I'm trying to find my photo. Oh, there we go. Look at them. But y'all can't even see. Wait, what if I turn my brightness down? Okay, there y'all go. Like, look at that. It's not that far off, for real. Be for real. Don't play. Do not play with me. I am not one of them. <laughs> but I'm going to play my content out. Come here, King. You want to say hey, boy? You want to say hey? Come here. Come on. I'm going to keep this and put that in. Come here. Come here. Say hey, guys. Oh, sorry. Say hey. Say hey. When I wasn't recording, he had came, he had sat next to me on my, um, on the cover over here. And then he had got up and left. I was like, dang, you just gonna do me like that? You like my picture? Mm. Bro, the fact that this is still, <gasps> oh, excuse me. In this part of the video, yo, I, I struggle with trying to get my words out clear and talking. So if I don't mind, just I don't know what to tell y'all, but I'ma see when I'm editing. Hopefully it don't be that bad. But as y'all all may know, a couple months ago I was down bad. Like down bad. Like really, I don't wanna put my I don't know how to like I don't wanna throw everything out there because I'm trying to keep my business to myself and I always tell my business to people so it's like I'm trying to work through that and I'm trying to figure out a way that I can tell y'all but not tell y'all in detail okay well I said it in my okay boom I'm saying okay so a couple months ago I was down bad sad depressed whatever you want to call it didn't want to do nothing you know boom so I had came with the clue that I was just gonna work on myself focus on myself and get my life together because it's who want to be like that. I honestly felt miserable, but I'm about to start crying all right I honestly felt miserable and I didn't want to be here anymore. Huh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna start crying, I don't wanna cry, no. Okay, but I don't, yeah, so, I was really trying to figure out like, what can I do to change? It's like, it was so, 
it was so bad to the point where I wanted to go back. <sighs> I wanted to go back to Michigan to be around the people that I love, the people who made me happy. Like I wanted to be around just positive energy, and I ended up going back there for like it was. I want to say it was a long time, but I think it was like a month or two. I don't remember. I think it was a month. It was like in August. I no, because I came back in August. But let me see, because I made a video. I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all don't mind me crying. I'm a crybaby and I'm really emotional. Do not mind this, please. <laughs> Hold on, let me find it. Let me find it. In July, because I remember I went for Quran Open House and my FC birthday. Okay, it was in July. Okay. I went back in July, boom. I stayed there and I was like, I just wanted to be around that type of energy because I tried to do something that I would never thought I would never do. I hope that makes sense because it did not sound right coming out. But I tried to do something that wasn't good. Boom. So when I got to Michigan, I felt better because I was around people that I care about, people that I love, people that make me happy. So if y'all don't know, it was this boy I was talking to. He my dog for real. We cool, boom. But we be having our ups and downs, so it's like kind of iffy. But yeah, I love like I don't care what we go. Through, but I'm getting off topic. That's not even the point yet. Boom. Okay, so um, I went there. Boom. I started feeling better, you know. So I was okay when I come back. It's just straight grandma, stay focused. Like it's time to get your stuff together. If y'all don't know, when I was when I still was living in Michigan, I had got into a fight and got to spend it in school, and I had a um, I had to have a meeting with the um. I thought I would say call him, I think the administrator or something like that. And he basically was trying to tell me that I don't care about my life. I don't care about school. I don't care about graduating and stuff like that. And that kind of opened my eyes because it's like, it kind of hurt me for him to look at me like that. Because it's like, how are you going to tell me what I don't care about? But I guess it was because of my actions and the stuff that I was doing. But me personally, I feel like... My, I was letting my emotions control my actions and do certain stuff that I wouldn't do if I was to do like, you know. So, it was to a bad point where I started to get to a lot of family members. Like, everything was just going bad. And it's just like, bro, I could have stayed home for this. Like, why did I even come here? Before I left, I had got into it with a family member. I'm not going to say who, but, and I felt like, like, it seemed like everybody was just against me at the moment. I feel like I was a ball. Like, I didn't have nobody. So, it was just like, dang. So, I was just. Like everything just started getting worse. Even though back then when I was like little, I would be sad and I would be crying and I didn't know the reason. It was just like, why? But now that I'm older and I realize certain stuff, I understand better and I get it. Like now I get why I feel the way that I do. And I tried to accept it. Oh my God, this is killing me, I'm crazy. I tried to accept it, but it was just like, it was kind of hard for me to accept that and be like, but I know that if you hold on to something for so long, it's going to keep damaging it. And if you can't control it, just let it go. And that's what I had to realize and understand. So when I had came back home, but no, but when I first left, I had told myself, I said, okay, when you come back home, no excuses, you want straight grandma, you ain't gonna stuff together. So I was just thinking, okay, like you get older, you not well I'm a I'm not no kid, I'm a teenager. You're a teenager, now it's time to stop playing and get your stuff together. Like it ain't no more playing around with it. So I was like, boom. I got back home, I started school in August, I started getting my stuff together because like everything just changed. Like my whole mindset changed, everything just changed. Like I wanted to do better in life. So I've been going to school, I've been getting good grades. I have my moments where I be down and don't want to be, like I don't want to be involved with people. I don't want to talk to people, I don't want to be on the phone. I'm at a point where I don't want to be on my phone all day. Like I just like time to myself. And it was to a point where I wanted to cut the whole world off. I cut a couple of my close friends off, but it's okay. Why well, I didn't, I, I cut a cut of my close friends off. But I gotta do what's best for me. I gotta put myself first because I feel like I was always just there for people and didn't have nobody there for me. And it's like, you. it was to a point where I feel like I cared about other people more than I cared about myself. Like, I cared about making them happy then make sure my self was happy. Like, you know? So I was hurt. Like, I don't know. Like, it just felt, oh my God, it just felt like a different type of pain or whatever. So when I came back to, I came back to, I did all that, boom. So if I keep repeating the same stuff, I'm sorry, y'all. Um, 
I, I started going to school again, good grades and stuff. And I literally, y'all, I kid y'all not, I deleted so many people out of my car. Like, I would delete everybody. Name, but I had like a, like probably almost 200, 300 um, contacts. I literally have 62. I literally have oh, 65 right now. I would show y'all, but it's number people numbers on here. I don't know how I can. Let me see. I can't show y'all because people numbers not saved at the bottom, but I really delete so many people numbers. I stop talking to people like I was just straight, like that's it. Like it's time to focus on yourself and get your stuff together. So now the only people that I really talk, I talk to, but I'm not gonna say I don't talk to nobody because I do talk to people. Like I have, uh, okay, I'm, I'm a name them. I talk to like this is who I talk to on a daily basis. I talked to my bestie, Terrell, my FC, and Karan, and my cousin, Kay. Well, we don't talk, we don't talk on daily basis, but we talk. Them the ones that I talk to every day, and if I don't talk, I have my moments where I don't like talking to people, so I wouldn't talk to them, like, but most of the time, those who I talk, those people I talk to every day, you know, but, so, this is where it's going to get, you know, better. So once I start focusing on myself, put myself first. Go. So I start watching this pastor called Mike Ty. I be let me see my phone outside. I be talking to what? <laughs> I be joining his services online, and I be watching them or whatever. And he basically was saying like, if you haven't already, it's time to give your life to God, let God guide you through life or whatever. So I was praying to God, asking him to better me, change me, like you know, like praying to him. And he actually came through because now that I now I see that I'm outgoing certain things and it's like I'm entering my soft girl era. Um, I was literally like. Watching him taught me a lot, and I'm still learning certain stuff. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on everything, like once I'm fully done healing and I'm way better. But um, he was basically like the stuff that he touched touched based on was like pain has a purpose. Let God guide you through whatever. He's in control. Let him be in control. Um, just basic stuff like that. I start reading the Bible. I start journaling more. And I, I'm starting to feel better, and I'm trying to accept certain stuff in my life, but it'd be so hard for me to accept it because it just hurt me so bad, y'all. You know, like it just really be hurting me so bad. But um, what else I'm saying? Some stuff that I have learned in this past couple months is it's okay to be alone. It's okay to feel emotions. It's human. Everybody go through stuff. Um, it's okay to forgive people, and that's one thing that I really learned because now that I think about it, do y'all know how many people that did so much crazy stuff, like did terrible stuff, and God still forgave them? Like, it's crazy because there's really so many bad people out here, and God forgives them. So it's like, and I, if I did something bad, I would want God to forgive me too. So it's like, why hold on to something and not forgive somebody but you do something you want god to forgive you so like why not y'all i just let everything go and put everything into god's hand that was a good thing and i feel like now that i'm trying to like i'm focused on myself certain stuff i just like if y'all knew me from like elementary school through middle school y'all know i was terrible like y'all i can see i can say that I grew a lot because you know, I used to be bad, like I used to be so bad and it's only because I let my emotions control my actions because I know, I always been the type of person that's just so nice and like, I don't know the word, I don't wanna say soft or sensitive, but that's kind of what it is, I always been like soft or sensitive. Not soft, I'm not soft, okay, that's where we coming off from. I'm not soft, y'all. <laughs> I'm not soft, but it's like I'm soft. Like, I don't know the word for it. Like, I like gentle stuff. Like, I like everything to be gentle. There we go. Let's say that. Like, everything I want to be gentle. But, I, y'all, I can't join my If I tell y'all the stuff that I did, y'all would be like, what? You don't even seem like that type of person. And I'm not that type of person. It's just like the way I was feeling just like took over. But, I hope this, I don't want to get into more details because I feel like if I talk about it, oh no, pause. Let me get it. If, uh, y'all gonna put this in the video? Okay, 
No, I'm gonna set video. Once I'm like totally better and healed, I'm going to do a more in-depth video on this to tell you to help people out because I felt like to this day I still feel like it's just me. But it's okay to feel like that because at the end of the day, I came into this world alone, I'ma leave alone, so it's okay to be here alone. But I'm gonna do a different video on that to like explain more and give people advice because I didn't have nobody to give me advice. I have to learn everything on my own and do some stuff. But y'all, this is the end of that video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I will be doing a video, I promise y'all. And if I don't remember, comment down below, like, no, because then y'all not gonna know when I'm fully here when I'm better. Okay, I'm just gonna do a different video with this time. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And stick through and be with me through this healing journey. I love y'all. I thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in my next little video. Bye. I love you guys.